She's like, bah, boom. She started kneeing me. Bah, I, bah, I started blocking with my, my boom, boom. She broke, she broke through it. Boom, broke it. I was like, oh, hell no. All right, welcome to the Jones Zone people, where I get into discussions on relatable topics. And today, coming at you with a story on bullying, because a lot of people uh, feel that they're being bullied, being bullied today. And I'm be honest, there's a lot of bullying going on, probably a lot more, because of the internet. You know, what I mean, now we have access to the internet, so people can bully people in reality, you know, in real life, and also on the internet. And I think that's why bullying is, is getting out of hand. But for those of you who deal with the actual, uh, you know, the physical bullying, I got a, a pretty good story to tell. Like, because let me be honest with you, um, half of you guys, I honestly don't think you've really experienced, you know, the, the, the true essence of bullying and what bullying is about. You know, I talk to people who have wives, you know, and, and, and stuff, you know, and you know, they, they, they get bullied by their wives. They get bullied. Some people get bullied by their sisters, you know, um, other family members and stuff like that. You know, so I, I'd say those are some of the worst case scenarios because these are people who are supposed to protect you, who are supposed to, you know, defend you, support you, you know, be on your side. You know what I'm saying? So those are usually the real severe situations when you, when the family and stuff like that starts to, you know, bully people, uh, indoor stuff. But I'll, but what I'll say is that, um, we need to get into it. Okay, so for you guys who are getting bullied by your wives and shit like that, I realize that a lot of this is verbal, you know, abuse and stuff like that. Like, oh, you know, if you don't do this, I'll do that. Or in, in, in I don't know, girlfriend, boyfriend situations, they're, oh, if you don't do this, I'll, you know, I'll get the, you know, I'll call the, you know, people on you, you know, for some child support or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That is a form of bullying, by the way. But I experienced bullying, like physical Physically being bullied by women at school, or girls in this case, uh, young women. This happened uh, to me in, i say it was the year of 2004 or something like that, maybe going to 2005. Okay, something like that. I was probably in the 7th grade at this particular time, it's the end of the year. And I remember, you know, it's always a caf in the cafeteria, in the lunch line, it's always... Some kind of situation that goes down either in the bathroom or the cafeteria, you know, where uh, the, the bullying uh, is initiated. Now, uh, on this particular day, um, when uh, I was heading to lunch, there was a huge line and there was like a a girl that was there. Uh, she was tall. I just remember seeing that she was tall for a girl. You know, I was actually short at this time. You know, what I mean, I'm, 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 I'm small, guys. I'm probably like at this time, I'm probably 105 pounds in the seventh grade. She probably looks like she's about maybe 115, 120 pounds. You know, she's kind of, and she's tall with it. You know, and she's standing there, you know, like being like some kind of lunch line, uh, a kind of guard or something like that, making sure that, you know, people are kind of getting through the line and, you know, all this kind of stuff in a, in a very smooth fashion. There was just some kind of thing we had in the school where that would happen. She would, you would see the car, she would let you pass, you know, and then that, this kind of thing that was going on that happened for like a couple of days at one time. And I remember it was my turn to kind of walk, uh, you know, through the doorway into the lunch line and get my stuff, my food. And this girl, you know, she's, she's, she stops me. You know what I'm saying? I'll never forget her. You know, her name was Ann. You know, everybody called her Ann. You know, and she was mean. You know, she was known for being like, one. Of, you know, she had like the, you know, the very, very like, uh, I don't know, Wiccan or goth type of stuff going on with the, you know, the, she was definitely like some kind of goth or something like that. And uh, I just remember, you know, trying to get past her because it was my time to go she just delayed me you know what i mean it was my turn and you know she was like uh you know you're gonna have to wait my friend such and such you know she's tying her shoe or something like that i looked over and there was a girl that was really you know she there was a girl that was tying her shoe but there was a lot of space for me to go through i could go you know in there and i understand she didn't want me to jump her but i'm just saying no i could still go go through you know what i'm saying and the girl to be honest with you she was just sitting there literally for like Maybe 20, 30 seconds uh, kneeling down. She hadn't even tied her shoe. Or she had tied her shoe, but she was still kneeling doing something else. And I remember just looking over. I was like, hey, come on. I'm trying, I need to get through. I'm kind of hungry here. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little dude. You know what I mean? I need, you know, I need to give him food. And um, anyways, and you know what I'm saying? She's like, dude, I told you like to step back and all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And, you know, I will slap you. And she was getting, you know, really aggressive with me. And I was like, wow. I'm like, oh, okay. 
Um, so I just basically, uh, I didn't really want to get into it and make it cause a scene. So I just, you know, uh, stood back. I shut my mouth. I was pissed. Yes. Eventually I went through and then, um, I got my food ate. And I remember after I was done, I saw her again when I was, uh, dumping my tray. She walks over in my direction and I'm looking at her and she looks at me and she's like, uh, yeah, you know, you you fucking loser or something like that that she said. I couldn't remember what it, what she said, but she looked at me and she said it was something like about being a loser. I can't remember the, the exact word. It was like, blah, 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 you loser something. And I was like, fuck you, is what I said to her, you know, and everything. And she's like, walks over to me, boom, yes, grabbed my head like that, shook my head, is what she ended up doing. And I was like, looking at her like, what the fuck is the matter with you? Don't ever put your fucking hands on me like that. She's like, oh, yeah, what are you going to do? I'll do it again. And she comes in, boom, like that. But that time, I moved my head. You know what I'm saying? So her head kind of, she went forward a little bit. She came on, and I shoved her back is what ended up happening. And then I turned, and I walked away immediately after that ended up happening. And she's like, hey, you know, uh, come back here. Yeah, you better run. And I started walking away, and I didn't run. I walked away very fast when that ended up happening. And she's like, yeah, you motherfucker or something like that. You know, and was cursing and saying a whole bunch of stuff. She didn't run after me, though. You know, and, 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 and walk me down. After that, toward the end of the day, you know, I got, I got like maybe three, four more classes to go. And toward the end of the day, uh, I'm getting ready to leave, get the bus. And uh, I'm, there's a wing, you know what I mean, that I'm coming from where, the, where I had just finished my classes. And I'm going to like a, there's like a landing area where there's some stairs. You know, there's a, there's a, you go down, there's a landing. Right there, when I get to that staircase, um... Someone's like, hey, and they called me. I look back and I see Ann there. So I turn, I walk over and and, and and just see whatever it is that she has to say. And she's like, hey, motherfucker, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Now you gotta remember there's a staircase nearby. So when she shoved me, like I literally could have fell down those stairs, I could have died. But I staggered and luckily I caught the railing. She and then um I I you know came forward. You know, I'm looking at her, you know, I'm looking her directly in the eye at this particular point in time. And I'm like, you know, what are you trying to do? What do what you want to do? What what the hell is your fucking problem? I'm, I remember just, just asking her, what's, what do you want to do? Like, how do you want to solve this kind of thing? And I'm, I had it. You know what I'm saying? She's bigger than me. You know, I know I'm a guy and all this kind of stuff. But at the end, I'm, I've had it with people just kind of like, uh, you know, taking out their frustrations, whatever anger they got going on on me. That's how I'm interpreting this at the moment. You know, I, I just felt that what happened in the lunchroom wasn't that big of a situation and it didn't have to come to this but she was making a big deal out of it. And so, yeah, she comes over to me again, kind of like, oh, yeah, let's go, kind of thing. And she throws a punch. She didn't throw a palm this time. She went boom, like that. She threw a punch. She hit me. And then when she hit me, it was like right here. It decked me right above the eye or something like that because I'm shorter and I kind of went down. She got me pretty good with that and everything like that. And then when that happened, I immediately moved in to duck and grab hold of her. So I think just prevent her from hitting me again. Kind of, you know, going in kind of for like a tackle. I'm around her waist kind of thing. She uh, kind of maneuvers me in some kind of way. She is strong. She is actually pretty strong and stuff like that. I'm not going to lie for a girl. I guess she grabbed and, and got me in a clinch. You know, her hand around my neck like this, clinching me. Like kickboxing kind of clen uh, kind of the Muay Thai. You know what I'm saying? These guys come in elbow and knee type of clinch. She came at me with multiple blows, people. I'm talking raining blows on your boy. Like some serious combinations and everything. Elbow, knee, knee, boom, boom, boom. She's throwing her knees. Pop, pop, pop. And she's kneeing me in my face. I'm trying to, you know, block those blows. I'm using one hand to try to protect myself while still kind of trying to hold on to her. You know what I mean? And, and, and for the moment. And she's kneeing me. I had to eventually use two hands. You know what I'm saying? She must have needed me at least 10 times. Boom! Boom! Just driving those things in there. Then she'll try to elbow. And when she did that, I thought to myself, I'm going to get knocked out if she can, if she elbows me in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? That's what she was pretty much getting ready to do. I had no other choice. In my, I had to do what I had to do to defend myself. I was literally going to get TKO'd is what was going to happen. So I picked her ass up and I went in for a slam. Boom! You know what I'm saying? And I picked her, my, wrapped my arms around her, her legs. 
You know what I'm saying? Had her up in the air and then tilted her like that and then she fell over and shit like that. And she was like, oh, oh, you fucking bitch. You know, she got up. The bitch was like, I don't know, something was like like a, a, a supernatural, it seemed like, with the, the uh, how fast she was able to get up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from that. And I had used that slam on, on people bigger than me before and stuff like that. At 105 pounds, I've used that on bigger people and, and I've, I've, it's, it's dealt with people. It's It's been something that has taught people lessons. You know what I'm saying? They're like, whoa, once I end up doing that. So I end up slamming her like that. And she when she popped up, I'm not going to lie to you, it surprised me. She's tough. I'm like, this girl's tough. She came at me again. You know, immediately tried to, you know... You know, reestablish the whole uh, the, the clinch and all that kind of stuff. She tried to get me in that clinch again. When this happened, I had my hand up this time, so I kind of moved that shit to the side. You know what I'm saying? I deflected her hand, just to, you know, I used my hand to prevent her from trying to grapple me again. Is what I was thinking. I'm backing, backing up as she's coming toward me. There are students, other students seeing this. They're going home. They're like, oh my god, they saw me, you know, do the slam and everything like that. And, and you know, they see me kind of trying to back away. I'm, I'm literally moving into like another area, you know, on the on the on this floor, you know, away from the stairs. And she's coming after me. Her eyes are wide. I'm be honest, she looked like she wanted to murder my ass. She's like, oh, my God, you motherfucking bastard. You know, I'm going to fuck you up. And she's saying all this kind of stuff running toward me. You know, she comes in and, and immediately when she came in and tried to do her motherfucking clinch, I picked her up, slammed her again. You know, boom. You know what I'm saying? And, and everything like that. Teachers came over. Uh, they started coming toward me, male, female teachers. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you know, you wait a minute there. You know, I ran, headed down the stairs, headed outside. You know what I'm saying? Continued running toward the bus. You know, I, there's a whole line of them. I found mine, got on there. The bus drove off and I went home. And then following day, came back to school. And the teacher called me down and uh, we had that. Annette was sitting there and we had that discussion. And I was punished. I was disciplined for that action, what I did. Sucks that it had to go there, but the point that I think I'm trying to get is that, you know what I mean, there is a time, as crazy as it may seem, but there are times where violence is necessary. There's times, even, even in situations that may seem completely taboo and, oh, it's a woman or it's a girl or whatever it is, there are times. Because had I not tried to had I not done that, I'm be honest with you. Those kicks and those those knees, and, and those elbows that she was throwing and stuff, those were incredibly powerful. I've never been comboed at that point like that you know, by a girl. No, I mean, okay, I'll be honest with you, my older sister, maybe, but by anyone else outside, I've never had anybody come at me. You know what I'm saying? With the, with that kind of violence, that kind of uh, power like that. You know what I'm saying? It was very shocking. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, for my ego and, and all those kinds of things out there, because people were bringing it up. Hey, man, we, we heard what you did to Ann. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was crazy. Some people were, you know, it was positive stuff. Like, you defended yourself. But then other people were like, dude, you hit a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're a bitch kind of stuff. So then I had to check men, young, um, other boys. I had to go up to them. Hey, what are you saying? You, you know, you're saying I'm, 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 I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a woman beater or I'm a, I'm a bitch. Or, you know, I'm a, I'm a punk or something like that. Cause I had, I defended, you know, I had to actually check them. And in one case, I actually slammed a dude. I slammed him just like I slammed her. He was saying something and he didn't even hit me. I'm be honest with you. I just, I, I was wrong. I aggressed him. You know what I mean? I, boom. And I slammed him just for saying it like that. He was bigger than me, 25 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever the fuck it was at the time. Still got it off on him. You know what I mean? And he, he's, oh, Oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Dude, you're fucking, you know, fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. You have no idea. You know, he was getting mad and saying stuff, but he wasn't doing anything. Somebody slam you, you slam him back. You don't just talk. He was just talking and stuff like that. And I was done with it. And I walked away. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was tough, man. It was it was crazy. Uh, I ended up seeing her uh, about like maybe, at, uh, I think it was a, the year after that. Um, You know, in eighth grade. And she came up to me and she was like, oh, uh, oh yeah. You know, and she, she, you know, at this point, I'm going through puberty. I'm going through puberty. I'm maybe a little bit taller and stuff like that. And, uh, no, it was ninth grade. It was ninth grade where I saw her. And she was like, uh, yeah, I'm going through pu puberty. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know, um, remember when I kicked your ass is what she ended up saying to me. And I was like, no, I don't remember you kicking my ass, but I do remember you getting in a little car crash, though. You remember that little car crash you got into, you know, and, uh, I laughed and then, uh, 
She's like, oh, yeah, right. Oh, come on. You know I kicked your ass, fucker. You know, and she walked off. You know, she was still herself. You know what I mean? But at, the, no, you, at that time when I was in ninth grade, I had gone through puberty and stuff. I mean, I'm not even, it's just ridiculous. I'm not even going to get into it. But, um, uh, yeah, you can still, you, you, you know, it's, it's cool, people. Thank you for watching. Hope this maybe uh, helped. If not, I don't really know what to tell you. Keep it real, people, because that's what I'm trying to do. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. She's like, bah, boom. She started kneeing me. Bah, I, bah, I started blocking with my, my boom, boom. She broke, she broke through it. Boom, broke it off. I was like, oh, hell no. Picked her up. Bow. And I slammed her motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Almost as hard as I could. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You know what I'm saying? It's either that or get knocked the fuck out. Uh, you you got to choose.